Welcome to my madness once again, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be taking a look at this retro carded Wolverine in the classic X-Men blue and gold. I ordered this on pre-order from Hasbro Plus back in September. Just now showed up. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy. Uh, package looks good, but all the retro packages look good. I do like them. You know, they look nice. Uh, old school toy biz style from back in the 90s that kind of thing. I do like these packages, but We're definitely gonna rip this guy open and see what we've got inside All right, so we've got him out of the package. We do get a couple of accessories So we do get extra hands without the claws although honestly who poses Wolverine without claws? I, I don't know. I mean, I guess nice effort, but honestly, I, I think these things are kind of worthless. And then, of course, we do get a spare head here, so we get uh, Mean Face Logan there. Uh, and that's it. That's all you get. You get a spare head, you get some hands, and then we've got the figure itself, which is nice. I mean, as far as, like, Wolverine, it looks fine. Um, I feel like this is somewhat the same buck we've gotten before obviously there's some differences here uh, in the mold because you do have the bands molded in around the legs and then right here on top of the calves and and they actually did a good job as far as the articulation points because of the bands and because of the bands here on the calves because that's where the uh, articulation point comes in there and on here so that looks pretty nice uh, but other than that, there's not a lot going on here. He does have bands there around the wrists. Uh, he does have the belt. And other than that, it's a pretty pretty plain buck. There's not a lot going on here. Um, you know, but, you know, the paint is nice. It's just basic yellow and blue, which is fine. I did notice one thing on mine there on that claw right there. It... it sinks in or isn't painted or something you can see a break there in the silver on the claw just as far as uh like not being able to to see the claw actually go into his hand it looks like it goes into his knuckle instead i mean you can fix that with a little bit of paint but i shouldn't have to um other than that the paint is well done i think you know it looks like nice clean lines i don't see any defects or anything there uh, looks good. Um, it's a pretty plain figure. I'll be honest like there's not a lot going on here like he looks okay But um, you know, there's not really much to say here like and I knew what I was getting I mean I knew this was just gonna be a plain Wolverine figure here um, You know you got the butterfly joints, which is nice for Wolverine although they don't do a whole lot other than that basic kind of standard Marvel Legends articulation there's not a lot going on here with the double jointed elbows and knees and thigh cuts and bicep swivels and you know standard shoulders and heads on a ball joint all that good stuff so pretty basic figure but i mean you know for a wolverine in in the blue and gold it, it looks good it's done well um but there's just not a lot going on here it's certainly not one of the better wolverine figures out there but if you're looking to you know get like your blue and gold team going this is probably kind of a must-have for you i guess um it's not a bad figure it's just not a great figure um you know i, I certainly like it better than the uh, dark phoenix figure that we just got in the same wave uh so i think it is better than that just because at least there's some details on it in the sculpting um but you know it, it is what it is i guess i mean i will say that the head sculpt is nice it does look good I think I prefer the mean sculpt better, uh, which is probably what I'll be putting on him. So all in all, not bad, but not great. It is what it is. So let's go ahead, throw him up with some other figures, and we'll see how this guy stacks up. All right, so first up, I wanted to compare him to some of the other Wolverine figures that I have. And honestly, when I'm looking at the rest of these figures, um, compared to this one, like, really? They're all better than this one, if I'm honest. Um, even the two older Toy Biz at the back, which have the goofy rubbery claws and a little bit off on the joints with the ball hips and that kind of thing, they have better paint and they have better sculpt. Even if they are older and, you know, antiquated and kind of goofy looking, there's more to them. There's a little more, I don't know, just artisticness to them and they're actually i think better figures um certainly i would say that this uh, juggernaut wave here is probably the best 
Wolverine figure we've ever gotten and remains so to this day in my opinion second only to the Weapon X figure right here which is just absolutely amazing I mean so you know as I'm looking at him here my opinion is kind of going down just a little bit on this Wolverine figure like it's good if you need a blue and gold Wolverine to match up with the rest of your X-Men line but other than that there's not really anything special going on here all right, so let's talk price here real quick, and this guy goes for 25 bucks. So the question is, is it worth it? Um, you know, it's the newest Wolverine figure, and Wolverine figures usually tend to go up in value. And so 25 bucks is not a bad price to pay for a Wolverine figure. And if you can get him at that retail price, I mean, just from that perspective alone, that it's a Wolverine figure for your collection, then yeah, it's probably worth it. But as a Wolverine figure, what are you really getting for your money here? Not much. I'll be honest with you. Like, you're not getting a whole lot. Like, it's an okay figure. And as I have already said in this video, if you just want to put together a blue and gold team of X-Men, then yeah, you need, you need this figure to put it together. But other than that, there's no reason to get this figure, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's not great. It, it, it's it's not bad. There's there's nothing wrong with it, right? Like there's there's no major issues with it. The paint's decent, other than the one claw that I've got. You know, like it's okay. It's not bad, but it really does not stand out amongst all the other Wolverine figures that we've gotten. And so while. You know, I can sit here and say, hey, you know what, it's another Wolverine figure to add to my collection. I've got quite a few of them. Why not add another one on? So, you know, I'm glad I have it. I really can't sit there and say this is something you need to rush out and get, to be honest with you. I, I really can't recommend that if you either already have a ton of other Wolverine figures, you need this. Or even that if you are only going to have one Wolverine figure, that this one should be it. Because I don't think either of those apply. I don't think this should be your only Wolverine figure. It's not even close to being in the top 10. And, um, you know, even if you just need to add one more Wolverine to your collection, I mean, sure, why not? But you really don't need to. So, I mean, yeah, it's an okay figure, but um, certainly not one that you need to go out and pick up. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's my opinion. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And always remember to enjoy your collection.